Hey guys, Craig and Green with Scout Arms here. Uh, just wanted to go and give kind of a rundown on our new long range 22 long rifle that we released yesterday. We posted the picture and we had a lot of feedback, a lot of people super interested in this gun. And so I just wanted to go from muzzle to buttstock, give you like a nomenclature and breakdown of uh, what all is included here with this. So this is a 22 long rifle that Gray Birch Manufacturing and Scout has kind of come together and built out. So on the front of this we've got a Q Erector 22 long rifle suppressor. This one's pretty cool because you can actually adjust the length that you want. Each baffle is threaded so you can make it as short or as long as you want. This is a 12 and a half inch 416 stainless carbon fiber wrapped barrel. It's a 1 in 16 twist. Extremely accurate even with a 12 and a half inch. The forend is a 12 inch forend. It's also available in 9. It's also available in a 16 inch as well. This is M-Lock. It is outfitted with a one and a half inch Arca rail on the bottom that you can clamp into your tripod. It also has QD attachment points for your sling. The receiver is a billet aluminum receiver. This one's Cerakoted and it has a 20 MOA built-in base, which is really cool. Not a lot of 22s offer that. The magazine is a standard Ruger 1022 style rotary mag. This one's a 10 round, also comes with a 25 round magazine as well. The chassis has a barricade stop on it, which is super slick in my opinion. All the steel parts, like the action, that's all PVD treated in the FDE color. And we have our titanium grip on there as well. It's 3D printed, a little bit less than an ounce. And also the stock folds. And so with the stock folding, you're able to get this thing pretty short, especially if you have a smaller, shorter can on it. You can take this down to two, three, four baffles, and that's the full size of the outfit. Uh, going back to the stock, we have a fully adjustable cheek rest. I've got this one loosened up right now to kind of uh, allow proper you know, cheek weld for this lower mounted scope. I think we're going to end up going a little bit higher on the mount and do uh, like a cantilever one piece style mount, raise it up another half inch or so. But with that, you're able to fully adjust your uh, cheek weld and lock it down where you want it. And you also have a fully adjustable length of pull, which this one's, it's tightened in. I left that where it's at. And so they're actually super stable. When you clamp these down, they, they don't go like hardly anywhere at all. Um, so the locking mechanism on the stock is extremely tight. So when it locks in, it is very, very positive. There is no wiggle, no nothing on that. Um, this rifle is outfitted with a Night Force NX-8, 1-8 to eight power, and uh, no radio. So for everybody that was asking questions, I hope they covered everything for you. And uh, yeah, if you have any other questions, just let us know.